Yeah. And see, brother, been there. Tomorrow, the next day, everything go wrong. Yes. yes. Car break down. Late for work. Ooh. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody in my face. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever told somebody this ain't the day? Yeah. Now yes. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and what they say, they clap their hand. They say, what you want, boo boo? <laughs> Not today. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. What you want today? Amen. So, the, so God said to us, Amen. God said, Take this day. Yes, That's enough issue in this day. Yes. Then you worry about tomorrow. Amen. amen. Some folks right now can't even can't enjoy the second service because you worry about something tomorrow. Come on. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. Let's move on. The first problem associated with handling money is the Bible instructs us that the love of money what? is a is root of all kind of evil. For which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Uh -huh. It was the love of money that called Judas to betray Jesus. Yes. yes. Did not he go back and try to throw the 30 pieces back? Uh -huh. yes. But it wasn't good. They said, what, what? Well, we don't care. You did what you did anyway. We don't want that back. That's yours. And he was so guilty he wouldn't harm himself. Somebody say amen. Amen. Committed suicide. Amen. Never to enter the kingdom of God because he didn't do like Peter when he repented, but Judas would have killed himself. Yes. Somebody say amen. Amen. So, 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 listen, uh, uh, don't pray God that the love of money get you out of the will of God. Yes. I'm so glad God got me over that. I am, that, that, this is one thing, the love of money, pray God, I'm so glad God got me over that. Amen. That's why as a preacher and a pastor, praise God. Amen. I ain't got to. I ain't got. I don't have to take the money, beg for the money. I get paid. Somebody say amen. Amen. If I go somewhere and preach, I never give them a, 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 a what is that thing called an honorary in my mouth that I do. God to give me. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm over that. I'm so glad I never got caught up in it. Matter of fact, not not over it. I never got caught up in it. Amen. Cause I never believed it. Somebody say amen. 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 If you bless me with an offering, amen. So be it. If you don't, God bless you. I did my job. Amen. Because I found out that God can give me way more yes. than the fruit of knowledge you can give me. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. You say, I'm a proven fact and fact that the like some preachers that go out and buy a building and they got all kind of debt to people and every Sunday is money, money, money. Uh -huh. See, God sent us here and planted us here and gave us the building free. Amen. So I can tell you, because I gave another church down in Thomasville to somebody else. Uh -huh. Padded pews, drums, arm keyboard, somebody say me, a sound room, a metal room on the building I'm still paying for. Somebody say me. Parking lot in a house next door. Amen. Amen. Gave to them, and all, all the choir was keep the grass cut, keep the maintenance up, and build the ministry. Amen. You got some preacher would never do that. Never. They will saw that as a cash cow. They would be leasing it out, making money. Somebody say amen. amen. But because we gave, God gave to me. Amen. Oh, that was clapped our hands. Amen. Now I can be stupid to the better and be envious of all them boys out in the hospital, out in the no, I don't need big churches doing all this big work. I can be just an envy if I want to live. But I ain't got none of the money problem they have. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. I ain't got none of the headache they got. Ah, Lord, what you say? Come on, somebody. I'm not putting no pressure on no member about money. I don't want to see nobody done with you. Amen. I'm gonna say amen. 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 I yeah, yeah, they got all that out there, right? But I'm down here in the cut. Yeah. And I just serve God and be glad for whatever comes in. Amen. Y'all wanna say amen over here? Y'all wanna get our hand raised on that? Amen. See, you got it. I'm so glad. I don't have the love of money. Because the Bible says many of those who had the love of money, they, they are piercing themselves. The Bible says they they're literally, Pastor Jones, they are killing themselves. Yeah. With worries, headaches, depression. Somebody say amen. amen. Trickery. Mm -hmm. Trickery. Yes. Misquoting the scriptures. Woo. Somebody say amen. amen. Literally with a mic in their hand in front of the people of God, telling them a straight up lie. Give them money. Yes, they will. Amen. Amen. Can I say that? Yes. 
is a straight up lie. It's not scripture. They are twisting the scriptures. Yes. To meet their needs. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, first of all, the first problem we have facing having money is it can cause you to worry. Has anybody ever worried about money? Yes. Yes. Amen. Bruce, amen. 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 Do you have enough? Are you going to get enough? Can you do what you want to with it? Somebody say amen. amen. Money will make you worry. And a lot of times, all the phone calls make you worry too, don't they? Amen. And the bigger thing that make you worry is that red stew. Amen. That five notice. Uh, <laughs> if I bring it to the church today. Yes. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, Jesus indicated that the concern for money, for, for the concern for life basic need, food, clothing, and water can cause us to worry due to money. Jesus wants us to help, Jesus wants to help, help his followers overcome. See, God don't want you to worry. Amen. God don't want you to be anxiety. God don't want you to have that headache worried about money. Amen. Somebody give God a hand praise that. He is a God. <laughs> praise the Lord. You not know some folks go to church worry about what they're going to give? Do you not know they, they go and don't have no dues? Some of us say amen, right? Yeah. You know some of so coming at you, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. If they don't get you in church, they're going to call you. If they don't call you, we're not going to get done. Hey, how you doing? Okay, now. I come now. See if you can't get up on your dues. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. All right, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, so, uh, so it can cause you to worry. Uh, verse 25 said, we read earlier, Therefore I said to you, do not worry about life, what you would eat, or what you would drink, or about your body, or what you would put on. It's not life more than food, and your body more than clothing. Amen. Life is way more than that. Yes. But you got some folks down there like I know, that's all they think about. Amen. All, they, all they talk about is what we're going to eat, what we're going to drink, and what we're going to put on. Do you know anybody that you know something like that? Just look at me and go, amen. 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 Every time you talk to them, every time they text you, every time they call you, there's something about something to eat, <laughs> something to wear. Somebody say amen. amen. Uh, what are we going to drink? Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That, that's a, that can be a big problem. Amen. All right? Amen. A second thing is, a second problem we face in handling money is uh, it can lower the quality of the life. Do you not know worry about money can lower your quality of life? So I say, amen. When you, amen, uh, the Bible says here, amen, Jesus asked a, 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 a vital, a vitally important question. What do you about where we can add one cubit to his statue? Jesus asked the question, why are you sitting right there? You all upset, got migraines, somebody say, amen. Mad at your folk. And sometimes you can tell when somebody upset about money, don't you? Mm -hmm. And then you say, here, I'm giving a piece of money. Yeah? Why not make it just a happy? Come on, somebody. Oh, oh, let me ask you this thing, then I'm going to move on, right? What when somebody asks you for some money, you say you ain't got none, and then they're they going to start telling you what you got? Yeah. What do you mean you ain't got no money? You got paid for it. Come on, somebody. I know you got something up in there, and then they have the audacity to reach for your wallet on your purse. Now, let me, come on, y'all help me out now. We, we in church, all right? Doesn't the quality of life between you and that person change real quick? Yep. When they start telling me what you got and what you should give to them. Yes. The quality of life and the friendship and the love relationships you have, you're going to have a problem, don't you? Amen. Sometimes I tease like I'm going to go in my wife's wallet. Right in front of her first, brother. Now, since Bruce cannot beat me, <laughs> okay? But if I go into that purse, Lady you. Bruce, elect lady, fast in the Bruce. <laughs> I think she was trying. Yes, she was. Yeah. She's shaking that head, but y'all don't, don't see it. Y'all don't see it the house when I be when I'm going like I'm going to the wallet and open it up. I know I ain't gonna open it up, but just I I, I know she's gonna catch me. But let me go and just move that zipper a few inches. <laughs> Y'all call her Timmy? She ain't Timothy. <laughs> it it changed the quality of your life. And if I know if I go into all water, Mom, the quality of life I'm going to have in our house is over. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. 
Because number one, I'm not going to want her to go back in mind, Josh. Because the quality of life again would be what? Change. Change. Oh my. <laughs> Amen. All right. Money can buy bread. Now, now y'all help me out of here, right? Money can buy bread, but what? Can't buy sleep. Money can buy amusement, but it cannot buy what? Happiness. Happiness. Money can buy companions, but it cannot buy what? Friends. Friends. Somebody say amen. Amen. People love you when you got money. Yes. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. They will hunt you down on tax return. Come, come. Come, come. What the baby don't you do? I'm going to tell you all this right now. Receive this. Don't tell nobody when no taxes are coming back. Because they will find you on that day. And we will tell the truth. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Don't Amen. you tell them when you file your taxes when they're coming back. Because if you do, I don't care where you go that day, they're going to come find you. Right. <laughs> so I say amen? Amen. All right, y'all better hear me on that one now. Amen. Uh, money.